hello guys in today's video we will see the photocatalytic degradation of the congo red dye that is in azo, azo dye or anionic dye using the zinc iron layer double hydroxide which was prepared by the hydrothermal synthesis okay so in this video we will be degrading the uh, dye using this uh, ldh as a catalyst already there are a lot of techniques like the adsorption by degradation chemical oxidation and also filtration or membrane filtration to remove the pollutant from the water in this video we will be uh, seeing step by step how the oxidation the adsorption and the combo process works so we all know that the photocatalysis is a type of advanced oxidation process in which the highly active oxidative species like OH radical or you can say the H2O2 which is the oxidizing agent used here are generated in presence of light radiation. So this will facilitate the degradation process in the water medium and that will basically yield to mineralization of the organic pollutant into the you can say into the harmless forms like H2O, CO2 and also smaller ions like chloride, sulfate etc. We also know that the catalyst that we are going to use should have I mean high efficiency or high recital and it should be low to low toxic and low cost and the fast electron hole pair combination wine, wine band gap that is more than 3.2 electron volt and it could lead to the problem in the separation of the I mean let's suppose we are using the slurry so the powdered one catalyst uh, would be difficult to separate from the suspensions it it will limit its practical use we have to that should have a lower band gap and that will yield in the enhanced photoactivity for the remediation by inhibiting the electron hole pair recombination and then also it can be simultaneously used as in regeneration or recyclability here the use of ldh which is called real double hydroxide which has a high surface area high adsorption capacity which and this is highly stable and this can be easily tailored with a lot of uh, can say compositions and it has exchangeable interlayer ions that is nowadays a lot of i mean ldh is being coupled or used as a pristine or raw material and this LDH uh, has a structure which is simi similar to the brucite like layer which is MOH2 and which is constituted by sharing the H sheets of octahedral MOOH6 units and these are also known as uh, anionic clays because the anion present in the interlayer regions balance the excess positive charges resulting from substitutions of divalent cations which are W I mean positive charge and with also trivalent cations in the brucite like layers so these are also commonly known as hydrocytoside like compounds and they are uh, represented by a certain kind of formula you can see that in the literature so shortly we will see how to form the photocatalysis in the laboratory hello guys today in the next video that is the second part of our photocatalytic degradation of the Die. In our first video, we talked uh, a little brief about the photocatalytic uh, degradation of methylene blue. Today, we will discuss about in detail each steps. I'll show you the oxidation, the adsorption, as well as the photolysis part. So today, I have chosen the Congo red dye, which is here. First of all, the task is to measure the concentration of it. Then second, we will do each step wise and also we will see the band gap. Let's start with this. So here we have the zinc iron 4 is to 1 LDH which, which is prepared by hydrothermal process. Concentration of the dye is around 12.72 ppm. So first step we will do the adsorption. Here we are adding around 21 ppm, 20 I'm sorry, milligram of the ad, cata, catalyst. So we will be fixing this and also we will be fixing the pollutant concentration, the time of the trial run or the experiment and the concentration of the pollutant now i've started to run the experiment uh, in this case i'll not switch on the light only i've added the catalyst 
and I'm running this for around 1000 rpm and we'll cover this so that there is no light activity here and then we will check the concentration after half an hour okay, this is covered now this is my sample after first set first set we have but for adsorption oxidation adsorption plus oxidation then we will use only light then catalyst this is the combo which is the last which is second last step then we will also see the in case of kinetics which is the best we will do for kinetics so this is my after half an hour we will check the concentration here so the concentration is around 8.56 first set we got 8.56 now let's check for the oxidation now uh, in the first set we added around 20 one milligram of the adsorbent okay and second set we will add the oxidizing agent which is the hydrogen peroxide here and the volume was around 150 ml so here i'm going to add around one percent of this and in the second third one i will add adsorption in, in the catalyst plus the one percent second one just the light and here the light is around is 395 nanometers first step when we are adding the catalyst since this is a slurry based catalyst so after the whole process or the trial ends we had two centrifuges so i already centrifuged this using this while i had to skip the step in the second step there is no need to i mean do the centrifugation in the fourth also no need for the third and the last one we have to centrifuge and usually in the supported base, base catalyst, if the catalyst is supported in, let's suppose, on a quartz plate or any other kind of material, so in that case, we don't have to do this centrifugation. Add to the same sample, so the strength of the polluted is same here, which is around 13 ppm. Here I will add 51% of the oxidizing agent, which is around 15 ml, okay, since the volume is around 150, so 1% of it is around 15 ml. So I will add around uh, 15 ml using a cylinder. This is I'm transferring the oxidizing agent. Now let's put the whole assortment to the to our trial area. Again we will start and do the whole process for around half an hour. Now after half an hour which is uh, this sample you can see here. Let's check the concentration. So the concentration is around 7.37 pm ppm. So in the first case it, it was around 8.56. This is 7.37. Now let's do the combo. Combo means only two process, which is the adsorption plus oxidation. Here I'm adding the same amount of adsorbent, or you can say the catalyst, the zinc, iron, LDH. Again, we will shake the whole assortment or mixture for half an hour and check the final concentration. Again, we have covered this. Now, after half an hour, which is our sample here and which is after centrifugation, so we will find out the concentration of this. So the concentration is around 5.50 which is less than our first two sets you can see it is dropping and the percentage of degradation is going up now we will just use the light and check the concentration now i will switch on my light so you can see the light is switched on now and then we will cover this and run this for half, around half an hour and see whether there is any degradation or removal by means of light or not now after Degradation by light, which is our sample here, which doesn't have any catalyst or anything, so we don't need to centrifuge. So let's check the concentration, final concentration here. So the final concentration is around 11.45, so which shows the least degradation in compare with the top four steps or the process which chose. Now let's try the combo. For the combo, I have already taken the sample as well as the oxidizing agent. So which is around 1.21 now we will check the final one which is the kinetics of course we will choose the combo which is shows the best you can say the removal or degradation as compared to the top four process let's do the kinetics here already we have transferred the sample i just need to add a bead and start the process so we have covered our system for the kinetics part and then we will start to take the sample after every five minutes so we have the sample for the first five minutes it shows around 
now after 10 min 5 minutes again we will check let's see where we get around 1.21 or we can say the best degradation now after 10 minutes you can see there is a drop which is around 11.36 now again after let's suppose this is 20 this is 30 after 10 minutes this is around 7.97 okay. after at the around after half an hour the this is around 1.50 which is close to our old the combo results so, so you can see this is decreasing decreasing then this is after 10 minutes there is a sharp decrease this is all about kinetics so we can also plot and find out which is the pseudo first order or second order okay. or we can also check which is we have a lot of models in kinetics like a law of which interparticle diffusion so we can also find out also we had to talk about the band gap unfortunately i could not get my band gap done for the material then our next consecutive videos We'll be talking more about the band gap and other things. Okay.